Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. I was just playing around with this uh, airflow meter. This is the Manix CFM Master 2. I guess part number's DCFM 8906. And I noticed the feed fan was making a little bit of noise, so I figured it probably needed a little bit of lubrication in there. And I just decided to pop it open here. Let's see if I can get this little connector out. I've never looked inside this unit. Yeah, there we go. Got that little connector. It's kind of jammed in by another one there. There's a, must be a phototransistor under there that picks up the revolution. So that's pretty much a zero friction other than the friction of the bearing, which I was going to put a little drop of oil in there. Yeah, there we go. There you can see the one side must be, that looks like an LED on right there by my finger, and then that's probably a phototransistor. And then someplace there's a temperature probe. But here's the, this is the, uh, it's actually an RS-232 connector, must be a tip ring TRS type connector. Essentially do data logging. Uh, you've got your little buzzer. Uh, this is the, this one uh, up here, I guess, then is the LED. It's labeled D1. And then this must be the opto sensor here. Someplace over here, this must be the resistor, temperature sensing resistor. Because that one's labeled R uh, something or other. But then you have here is a Holtec. That's an HT1821. That's the LCD controller, which the LCD is right there. And then this is a TI M430 microcontroller. So I guess that's the brains of the whole unit. So that's how that works. There's a LED and then an opto sensing uh, counterpart there. They pick up through the little holes in the in the little vein there. And then I guess back behind here is where the temperature probe is. So I guess that's up must be in this area here. I've always wondered where the temperature probe was. So that's about all that's in there. It runs off a 9 volt battery and then you do have the external uh, RS-232 serial port for doing data logging. I don't think I'll pull the board out. There's probably just switch membrane switches there most likely in the LCD. A little uh, crystal, some few discretes, but it's a pretty, pretty simple little board. But I think I will just give this guy a little shot of lubrication so it runs nice and quiet again. I just heard it uh, making a little bit of noise. So I just thought I'd share what one of these looked like inside. I've never opened this up. So anyway, I'll uh, put this thing back together and check it out. Uh, you can check out some of my other uh, solar heating videos. I'll put a link here in the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.